Hello there everyone, my name is Dario and welcome back to my permadeath uh, survival challenge in Space Engineers. I have my helmet on because we were having a, a storm, <laughs> as you can see on the left hand side. Uh, I have low O2 level. I don't know if I will be able to breathe actually. Now it should be fine, the storm just passed. <laughs> I have to apologize before anything because the, the end of last episode uh, I didn't even say goodbye I had to 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 cut and just uh, put so, uh, when I edit I put some letters because it was taking so long you know, when you start building <laughs> these episodes it can get uh, much longer than one hour and uh, well as you can see uh, I've done a little bit uh, after the the end of the episode, I finished the um, jump drives, and I was uh, playing with the idea of placing the the wings, because after doing the uh, building the albatros, this uh, shuttle, and it works so well with just so little uh, um, blocks that I have the from from Takeshi mode. Eh? This one, right, the the wing, has only this piece. I believe this is also from from the from him and the uh, the air brakes. But it's just this actually, and uh, it uh, glides uh, so well. So I thought uh, if we can put some wings on the on this vessel uh, in planets with atmosphere, we're gonna save a lot of uh, a lot of fuel. So. Uh, I would like to try it. Uh, for now, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this. Just, uh, you know, give me an idea. I put some air brakes in here as well. It would be better on the sides. Or, I mean, the effectiveness would be the same. But just, uh, I think it will look better. But uh, we can look at that later on. If we open them. See, these are only one side. It doesn't open on below. And there are two options there this option that uh, Albatros has you can see it opens on both and it works pretty well uh, the the brake force is, is quite good and anyway uh, I wanted to put uh, some some armament and actually placing this uh, turret in here then we can't place any block in this uh, side because it's inside the the, the hitbox right so I will move move it out. At least one block, one more block. Let's see, one or two, and uh, so we have a space to close uh, here at the back. Uh, we have uh, a lot of things to do. I already changed all the atmospheric thrusters and placed the the new ones, the sci-fi atmospheric that look much cooler. Uh, don't worry about the colors because this will change uh, at the end. After everything is finished, we will change the color of the whole ship. I also, <laughs> if you saw the previous episode, I was having trouble to place this uh, this thruster. And it was the hitbox. I thought it would be the the. I have a friend here. Oh, give me your meat. Yeah, I, I did hit the, <laughs> the landing gear. Uh, so I had to dig uh, just a little bit and then I was able to place it. Now, uh, we have to do the, the turret outside. Uh, you know, I wanted to place a, a turret at the front with uh, rotors in here to have some guns. Now we have to be careful with the, the mod uh, what's it called? The reverse. The reverse mod. It is activated uh, in the playthrough, and the military transports also they are there. But the, the reverse now they can spawn on planets. The chance is not very high, but they can. And so we have those two turrets uh, at the uh, Trakasaurus, and we have two turrets in here at the Albatros. But uh, I don't know if that would be enough. So I want to have some more armament uh, placed. Uh, but before anything, uh, I want to finish with the systems in this uh, in the Luna. So 
last time we mentioned about uh, you know one idea that I had is we have three oxygen tanks in here that is uh, a lot we don't need, really need it we have one large hydrogen tank and my idea was to change those two oxygen tanks into the small hydrogen tanks to have more more um, fuel but uh, then looking about it you know we're gonna be heavily relying on hydrogen until we are able to get the ion thrusters uh, made so I checked and we only have one O2H2 generator and that's it so what I'm gonna do is actually uh, I'm gonna pink <laughs> this we will put it back uh, later the thruster but we are gonna take this out it's a pity because it's full but uh, you know we have oxygen here we don't need and I'm gonna put another O2H2 generator in, in here so we have more capacity Actually, I should put that in the toolbar. How to do this? Okay. We have a port on that side, yes. And we have a port down, so we can just place it there. And the thruster that we took away before I forget. Alright. So this way we will have more. Oh! Damn it! I'm a. No, 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 no. I'm, I have the. the uh... What's it called? <laughs> If then I have the these tools on no, because I, I did spawn a, a blueprint. Yeah, I was looking to do a small vessel to attach to this one, and I was looking into my blueprints, and I spawned one to see if it would fit, and uh, and then I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> No, 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 we're in survival. We have to build it. So let me try this again. There you go. Okay. That's better. So now, um, we need to think this through. And actually, this I'm gonna change the layout of the villain repairs and the drill system. I'll take them out. I'll take this out again. Okay. So this we will have three O2H2 generators and. I think it will be much, much better. And the idea was the moisture evaporator 7. Okay, I did delete those two because I want to have two moisture evaporators together. One, and two. I can put, uh, they, they take a, they use a lot of power, so if you put them together, you can put a, a module, uh, what's it called, the module that I'm looking for, to reduce the power efficiency, yeah, that's it. Put it here and it reduces the, the power that it uses. Like this. Yeah, there are the ports. Okay. 
Maybe this is just power cells. Okay. I wonder if we can put another one underneath. Oh yes, we do. Ah, but it blocks the... Uh, it blocks this pot here. Or the cargo container. I'm not sure if we are going to need it. So for now, I'm going to wait. Yeah, there it is. So now... Uh, this is there. I need a uh, here moisture evaporator power efficiency 122 so it uses 327 kilowatts if you don't put anything I think it's 500 power efficiency another power yeah so we can put another one and lower even more the, the power that it consumes Okay, uh, another O2H2 generator. In there, and the thruster. In there. Okay, it's gonna be a little difficult to pass by. But Alright, now here we can put the drill system and the build and repairs. Okay, Let's put them in a way that they connect with each other. So there's the build and repairs and the drill system. This one has or ports, right? No, they have ports everywhere, yeah. So it doesn't matter which way you put it. It would be good to, to check what is up, down and all that for <laughs> later when you're gonna use it. But I can't see a thing, so just connect it there. And I think they come off by defect, yes. The system of this. and we will uh, set set them up uh, later on when it's needed. Now, what? Um, oh, my game freeze. Something spawned, I, I guess. Service platform. Yeah, when when some vessels is spawn, I have the. The EEM mod also, they should only spawn in when we are in a space, not here, but uh, again. Yeah, there it is. Mobile drilling platform. Some of these vessels, when they spawn, they have a very large CPU, eh, ICPU, PCU, <laughs> and uh, it, it has a hit in performance. Like this vessel that we are building, right now we are at uh, 5,000 PCU. It's very, very low. When we start putting guns, is well, it takes a lot of, of it. And speaking of guns, let me take this out. And we can play with the idea of uh, expanding this a little further. So we can close the gap over there. If, I, if I'm gonna put in anything else, I mean, okay, we have. It's gonna take a lot of paint. Okay. And if we move it away, actually, it gives us also the chance. Hello, or the doggies. I noticed, I don't know if in the past they used to fight between them. Now I have seen that uh, when they come a few together here, you hear them like they are fighting. And then I, I've seen the, the build and repairs picking up uh, meat, so that they, and a body in there, so they, 
they f I think they fight. So, um, moving this further away, we can even put a connector uh, facing down. But I was thinking on um, placing a connector here, that it, or maybe a, a turret even. I'm not sure the hitbox for a turret would be would fit in here. We have to take out this light, and then we can build it in there. Mm -hmm. and we can put it we could put one in here just in case you know if we need to connect to a, a space station or whatever we could do like that okay and to move the, just put another cargo container here or we have no port on this side if we put another O2H2 generator I prefer to have a to go through ice. The ice waits a lot. Feel uh, it's gonna take I'm running out of uh, hydrogen bomb. Let me see. the ports on the side doesn't matter about that we would connect with these uh, cargo containers we would put that one up, up there it would be all like this yeah. but anyway we still need to, to move it forward so do only one or even further up. How would we close this? I want to use the the um, the Takeshi's blocks. Because the more we use the more aerodynamics that we're gonna be. Some gifts <laughs> lying in the uh, Okay. Armor. Yeah, the Takeshi plane block, let like ammo block. Plane blocks. All the plane blocks. But wow, the game is very sluggish. I'm running out of water. Do I have? No, I have. Ah, I know what I need. I'm gonna set this uh, seat in here. Put the gnomes. Or the. See? And it should go to 125 now, these two. For the daily needs. If you place. If you write uh, gnomes in the, the seat that you use. When you eat or and drink, it gives you a, an extra boost. Okay, I still have a lot of food in there. Do I have oxygen in... Oh, I have an oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. I don't believe... Oh, there's a lot of ice in here. Let's see. This is full. No, not quite full. No. Can you charge? can place it. Now I can. Oh, which one is it now? <laughs> the first one, I guess. Uh, auto refill. Why are you not refilling them? Yeah, they are all set but to auto refill. Oh, excuse me. Uh, don't touch me here. 
This is the one we have with the hydroponics. Can you get there? Yes. There you go. I don't know why I wouldn't fill the other one. Oh, yes, it doesn't matter. We are full now. Oh, this one is charged already. Oh, I know. Here. I think it's gonna look. Uh, even better. I would like to put it like this though. And like this, you know, I, I would need to put another tube. This underneath has another port. Ah, oh, it does. Ah, so we can, we can, we can put it like this. like this look how it looks all right and uh, now let me see if we put even another how to be too far away so blocks the thing is that the, the thruster is gonna be there like a hanging in the air It's a little... Well, the only thing, because if we place a, a, a turret in here, it's going to attract the, the, the shots from any enemy. Here a connector, uh, I believe, is gonna be too low. Let's see. Doggies, where are the doggies? I have to put an alarm system in this uh, vessel as well. Like I did on, on those two. The thing is that it doesn't look very good. <laughs> it doesn't look very nice, really. Here has nothing. It looks like a. I don't know. If it gets shot, then you lose that, or you still have uh, the other. I don't plan on putting anything here because it was going to be burned by the thrusters on this side. We could put maybe an LCD panel. If it doesn't break, it would be good. Uh, here, maybe put a. Maybe place a, a half. Uh, light up more block to connect it to give it a little more resistant <laughs> a connection point this will still get the air nah, I'm gonna like that but anyway these are gonna be fittings for for looks Let's 
close this here. Now we have a little more space. Put even put a more wing and close the wing all around. Oh, that would look very good. Okay, let's see the uh where are you? Here. We could go you put this and you go like a kind of a aerodynamic. But my game is freezing a lot. What the heck? Just put a normal, normal block, a full block, I mean, and then we can add the wind. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna just put some blocks here to to give it more structural integrity. I'm gonna place normal blocks, I, I think. So in case we get shot, at least <laughs> we have some uh, super structural. Even though if it's just for a piece of mind. <laughs> I would like to leave this this uh, open so we can we can work here. So I will close uh, here at the back, but leave a little space for us to, to work on. Let me try. Let me try those. Uh, I don't have an LCD panel anyway, right? LCD. Yeah, maybe the transparent. Maybe the transparent LCDs. It goes like this. Can give some some color. Put them in, in blue or red or something like that. Okay. Now the only thing is that if uh, ta, 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 if we close all, I will be able to go in and out of here. Now do we put a uh, uh, more conveyors or just? Blocks. How about interior blocks? The new interior blocks. How would that look here? Let's see. Is that with the light? I can't really tell until it's uh, fully built. It's so hard to tell. Maybe it is with the Put a passage. 
with a door, maybe. Let's see. Text and images. Put it in red. Okay. LCD. Ah, this is the... okay. No, I need to change in here the background. Let's try. Red or, or blue? I think blue is gonna look better. Right, anyway. Okay, and here... Maybe we put a passage or leave it like this. This we will leave it as it is. Just put a, a block. Uh, let me see. Maybe one of the Takeshis. just a, a catwalk but uh, I think this gives uh, the trick a little more I was thinking about putting another another LCD there and put uh, some more red color, but uh, these ports we can always use later. And you can, well, even though we have this here, hello doggy. Reputation with pirates. Why do you give me reputation? Okay. I don't need to build much more, really. Okay, let's start with the uh, with the tablet here. Uh, okay, we need a rotor, advanced rotor, actually. Uh, we need um, the guns. A junction. What else do we need? I don't think we need it anymore actually. Let's put the rotor first. Oh, 
Oh no, not here actually. No, 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 no. no. No, the only thing is that is such a move. Yeah. Not really. Uh, then the... The conveyor... Ah, no, no, it's not gonna work like that. I have to do it on the sides. So, let's add a... Uh, Big, actually. Oh, wait, in this one. So there's the zero. Here we place the, the small head. like this yeah, it's gonna be quite good generator or a connector Just that give us a small port for the guns Using the large, uh, the large rotors, I think it will give us uh, more than this one. Also, the, the, the conveyor because if we use the small head in here and use everything with a small grid, it has less uh, integrity, so it's easier to get destroyed. With the large grid, at least I uh, can uh, last a little more, <laughs> a little more shorts, shorts from the enemies we know this vessel is never gonna be for fighting uh, we have to set one uh, jump drive like a escape a distance and when we see trouble just jump away this is just to try to defend or attract the, the shots from the enemies so they don't destroy any other vital parts and now We will need a small, small conveyor, right? So if we place a gun, then we can place them down. So we need a... Uh, I don't have to.
and we could put more like on the side and we have 12 uh, in total still freezes a lot. Now, I don't know, the Space Engineers is using more and more resources. Uh, I did look uh, and, uh, you know, I don't have a high-end uh, computer. That's the whole point of the whole series. To watch the, the setup of this uh, campaign, you can see that we talk uh, about the uh, performance. So I lower down some things. I don't use the auto save, so every time I, I want to save, I just have to go to the main menu and save uh, by hand. So every time it saves, you know, it, it slows down the, the game a lot. This is gonna be huge. It also looks cool. <laughs> but it's using a lot of resources. Uh, I looked at the freezes that I have, is the CPU that goes to 100%. My GPU has a 4GB memory, it's a GTX uh, 1050 with 4GB, so it's not a high-end uh, uh, card. And I'm using an i5, uh, Intel i5, so it's, no, it's not the best. I did add more memory, I have 32GB of uh, RIM. So if the GPU needs to use more, it has more, more memory left to, to use, but it seems that with every update that uh, they do in software, the game just uses more and more resources. I did turn off everything in the background, so I'm just uh, using the game right now and Steam. I think the, the game should be a little better optimized. Um, this needs, uh, you know, to put some uh, something to look uh, cooler and all that. We will do that later. We will need a programmable block to install the. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the RDBS uh, turret uh, script. But for the uh, programmable block, I want to use, uh, like we did here, we have Benson and Hedges, right? <laughs> My colleagues. This one is a, a programmable block, actually. This one is a timer, I think. Yeah, timer block. So we could put a, a crew member like this, a programmable block, somewhere in, in the vessel and we would use the script for the, for the target. So we can do it later. We're here. I want to work on the interior. There's a, you know, I don't know, close this here, maybe put a bed or something. A kitchen. <laughs> something to make it look more, more homing-like. And uh, here I also wanted to change, so maybe put a, a ramp that comes down let's see if the dogs don't attack us okay. we will be able to place a turret no, I didn't think so
a connector, yes. So if we put a connector there, maybe we could put another target on the bottom side here. Yeah, one block or two. This one block. Maybe I do that. We put a connector in here. I think that it's a very, it's a little hard to. It's gonna be a little hard to dock. We can try it. Because from here, from the floor, I can always uh, access the, the cargo. From here. And here we try using another tag. I don't know if he's gonna let me.
how it looks with the <laughs> with the wings on both sides. I think it's pretty okay. I didn't say it was gonna be pretty like the <laughs> the trachasaurus here on the left. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not very good at doing pretty things, useful things, yes, <laughs> like the shuttle. But the shuttle is not very ugly. I, I'm pretty happy with the functionality and, and the looks. This one, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I did, uh, besides the, the wings, I did do more things. I want to show you uh, inside. The idea, let me see. Okay. So, this is a, a one man crew. A vessel that we were talking, but I'm gonna have some companions. Here I put a, a, a bed. So I have the sleeping mod, but it's not gonna fail. You can sleep here and you have a little pri privacy. Here I placed a shower. You can shower looking at the <laughs> wherever you are. <laughs> a bathroom. And a uh, kitchen, a uh, dispenser, which with the credits that we have, we can buy things. Yeah, we don't run out of food or whatever, we can buy it. A couple of tables, but it doesn't bother much. No, they're not on the way, so it's like a little dining area. Uh, here is the programmable block. I don't know how I'm gonna call it. This one we have benches on and edges and the trachasaurus. Here we have another two. So we're gonna be a three man crew. Huh? Two can sleep. There's always one uh, looking out what's going on. I close here, even though we're, this is always not gonna be uh, uh, airtight because it's just <laughs> impossible. <laughs> uh, the only place we can get oxygen is here. And at the uh, uh, what's it called? The cryo chamber and the cockpit. Yeah, but uh, at least it looks a little more finished. And I place uh, some lockers in here. On the other side the same. If later on we can think of any other uh, thing, we can change it. Here I placed the lab equipment just to give a little, you know, little flavor. And this is the ramp that I was telling you. So here we will have some more lockers that you can get changed and then jump down. Uh, this is a, just like a control panel. And here we open. We can go down. Doggies. No toggles. Uh, we don't need to use the jetpack. Uh, from below, yeah, you can use also. Yeah. I wanted to put something on top to cover it, but it wouldn't allow me to, to place a... Uh, here I can, but then uh, we don't fit, we can't walk. The next uh, block, there's no... Oh yes, it does. Then I'm gonna place it, and then we can place this one. Yeah, it looks looks better, and you can actually walk on top of it. And you can come here, you do nothing, but uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, and we can walk without hitting our, our head in there. Now oh, here I place another bed. So we have uh, two beds, two people are sleeping, one guy is always on watch. It's working. This is probably finished, yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is um I already mapped on the uh on the cockpit. Ah because you know, we have another, uh, what's it called? We have a, a cockpit here. 
I was debating in placing one of these NPCs and put a timer in here. It's the only place where I would be able to place it because here with these catwalks I would have to take uh, take them out. So only there in the middle. But if I put that timer then uh, I think I'm gonna leave it because if I'm in any need I can always, if I'm down here uh, it's faster to just jump in there and I already can control the ship. I will have to map everything on the control bars that they are not now. Uh, well, this way I can come this way. Um, let's do a test. As you can see here, this is the only thing that I mapped. Huh? They have a lot of things to, to and all, a lot of details. The the turret also we have to finish and we need to install now in the programmable block that we have there, the astronaut. We can uh, uh, place the... Uh, I was gonna place... Actually, maybe, let me check it. Uh, browser scripts. Target. RDAPs. I think I'm gonna use this because it's the easiest to, to install. Set up uh, Simply paste or install this code into the programmable block and refer to the custom data of this block for accessible instructions. Okay. Active rotor turrets 2. Active designator turrets 3. So it's already working. So as easy as 1, 2, 3. Custom data. Uh, only change this if you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing, so. You don't need to name anything. The designator turrets. Uh, I thought that the. the um, the designator turrets, we have two here, the, the interior turret at the front and the large uh, turret at the back, right? I have no ammo, so I thought uh, this to work, they must be uh, loaded. Anyway, I will load them uh, later on. We will check that later if it works. So I already have mapped the, the thrusters, so we are gonna, we're gonna do a test and see if... Uh, uh, we are okay only with the admo so we have uh, the lifters see admo lift so the up thrusters the hydro this is the boost which would be the large uh, hydrogen thruster at the back and then we have the position in admo which is forward left and right the same for the hydrogen and then we have the arrestor, which would be the, the backwards, right? So in this way, uh, if we can glide, if it works, uh, I will try this uh, with careful <laughs> if it works, uh, we can turn off the lifters and just use the wings when we have atmosphere. But let's see, let's see, uh, six and eight. On. Okay, landing gear unlock. Okay, we fly. We fly! It's taking 20, 20 21 of energy, which is it's a, it's quite a lot. Okay. One thing I'm gonna do is change the landing gears. We have power for only one hour. Fully depleted in one hour. It's quite, it's quite a lot. I'm 
gonna hit anything. Just wanna move, see if I can get more sun, sunlight. Actually, not the. Uh, The turret blocks the, the the solar panels. Okay, there we are level. Okay, we just move a little bit up. Now it's just two hours. Yeah, we have more more light coming in. See the battery. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can change the landing gears quickly. Landing gear from Takeshi. I'm gonna use this. But let me put all just in case. Did put a sensor somewhere right there on the back. Oh, it's not finished. Oh, radio communication components. Hey, why did it did go down? Huh? You guys landed on on the landing gear. It's not gonna let me place. This after one is full of uh, materials. It's gonna be more critical. Uh, let me see. Please leave me alone, uh, wolves. Number five. No, it's coming down. It's coming down. Yeah, I'm higher then. Number five. Now, is it like this? No, I believe it's. this hey no quickly quickly I don't remember okay I put it damn it damn it no don't build it There it is. Auto lock off. Cube. Isn't that cool? Do we have time to change this one? Here I'm gonna put like this so we gain space. This is only one. Only one block size. Yeah. Auto lock off. Oh, 
right? Now the only thing with this is that unfortunately we need two two commands for this uh, for this to work. So we would need a uh, landing. Ah, it's not finished this one. What do you need? I have it. Okay. So, uh, landing. Landing gears. So, when we configure the, the group, uh, where are you? Landing gears. We need an on-off, which would retract or, uh, or or extend, and then the switch lock. Yeah, the, the vessel goes down. I don't like that because the main idea of this, I like this vessel. I wanted to hover. Um, excuse me, a drink of uh, coffee. Coffee. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> can tell by my my talking if I a little bit to relax okay uh, the idea of this vessel where I want is uh, when we go to to the alien planet to get the the uranium you know there's a lot of uh, spiders and the spiders can climb up and I don't know if that has changed but sometimes they spawn inside your buildings and things and so what I was thinking is uh, I want a, a, a vessel that we can hover and just place ourselves something like this and then we can use the drill system to collect the, the ore and leave the... Uh, I don't have to be in the cockpit so I can get out, I can do whatever and leave the vessel there but uh, we'll have to see how, how that works Okay, anyway, let's retract this. How do you like that? See, here, now you, you don't see the, the landing gears. And with the connector, you can go down to, lo uh, to, to dock somewhere. But the hit points is still there, even though you can't see it. And the hit points is still there. Nice. So the last thing we are going to do for today is we are going to change the color and then what I will do off camera is work on the... Uh, what are those marks in there? Did I drop something or, or I don't understand? Hello Wolfie! really will need the, the uranium oh one, one thing oh look at that the the front gear is much uh, it's much taller mm. so if we go like this it would be up or we can retract that one and go down. Let me see. Okay, let, let's lock. Hmm. Maybe I should put one uh, a landing gear like like the back. Anyway, let's turn off all the engines and eight and the next episode we will do a, a, a test flight um, after we I still have to map all the 
all the components, uh, you know, jump drive, turrets, uh, etc. But we're gonna change the color. Another thing I placed is the um, the soil uh, grower, crop grower, soil tray crop grower. I put it there. It's, it's only we can only use the large uh, grid size. So and this sensor is for the same thing that uh, that is the the top. I can hear you. Give me your meat. So we can detect. Uh, it will also detect the spiders. So this is the idea. Put this and the sound block. I placed it on the on the top. This, this looks a little ridiculous, right? The thing is that I like it. Is <laughs> this is the one that I like the most? I think it looks so cool. But if we put it back, uh, then it will take uh, the two blocks. And I wanted to leave just one to have a, a little space here because uh, my idea is to... Oh, this is not finished either. Power cells, okay. Um, to place a, a small a small vessel, like a scout, uh, but very, very small, for like ho with hover engines, for example like a hover chair <laughs> and then from here you, you drop and, and then you can you can get away so we put three like this I think it looks cool at front that one we can try we can try for now let's see let's change the the color we have the neon color brown lights in white Okay, so how is this to change the whole thing? Control P. And don't remember. I think it's uh, Control Shift and and middle. Yes. Here we are. Look at that. Look at the change that we have made for this 2015 vessel now it looks like a discotheque all right and then here we can change some things like these guys um, we're gonna keep them like an orange, for example, so I can see them at night. <laughs> see what they're doing. Yeah. And some of the things we can change color, so it's not so monotonous. <laughs> But uh, that would be details for, for later. I hope you like it. The, the ship is ready. I mean, now what I'm gonna do off camera is just uh, finish these little things, uh, map everything on the cockpit, map it here also. Uh, load the, the turrets. What else we have to do? We we'll put, uh, you know, uh, put some materials in there. Get the refinery working. We still have, we still have some things, but uh, I prefer to do it off camera. And then next episode, what we can do is uh, do a proper uh, test during the day, because during the day we're gonna get power the solar powers and the, the solar panels to the batteries so we don't spend that. I don't want to use all the hydrogen here what the heck is this? this marks no idea uh, 
and for that uh, maybe I have to go get some more ice uh, just get the, the vessel ready once the vessel is ready then uh, we are going to Mars we have to find platinum not only for the ion thrusters that um, is not that much important in this vessel we are going to be more hydrogen and, and atmo uh, I don't believe it's going to be a very good vessel for moon you know, we go to a moon with uh, the few hydrogen thrusters that it has uh, upwards I don't know if it's going to be enough with any kind of load uh, if it's empty, yeah but, uh, no, we have the, the refineries and uh, uh, we probably go to get I don't know, ice maybe on the moons and gold whenever we need it now we have uh, quite a lot but maybe later we need it um, so not only for the ion thrusters but uh, also for a shield now the reverse mode uh, I believe the river ships since I do have the defense uh, defense shield uh, mode uh, on <laughs> they will also have uh, shields so right now they do and we don't so when we go to space we are gonna have to be very careful set up the jump drives whenever see anything hostile choop, <laughs> get away because with this armament uh, well, I mean, they are gonna destroy us very very quickly and uh, well that would be put some lights here also there will be some details but the Luna is uh, more or less ready I hope uh, you like it and the next episode we will check a, we'll do a test uh, a test flight thank you very much for watching we're gonna leave it here this is the sound block <laughs> for the alarm I hope you had a wonderful Christmas or you could spend it with your family please take care and be safe and I hope to see you soon with the next one take care Bye-bye for now.